Alright guys, we're back with another video. We're looking at Zephyr Prime this go around because I think Zephyr is another frame that is like just super underrated and they're like, pff, Zephyr is like dumb good. So let's go ahead and uh, get some enemies here. And then we'll go over the abilities. Now I have an explosive weapon with the Kuva Brahma because, well, we're going to see here in a second. Let's go ahead and go over Zephyr's abilities and let's look at the build. So Tailwind is basically just going to be a launch where you're flying around. Air Burst is a little CC where you knock everyone down. Turbulence is a great shield. Tornado is just a really good CC. So let's go ahead and see all these abilities in action before we check out the build. So we're going to use our second one first, which is just a little knockdown. Our fourth ability ultimate is a, a Tornado. And then finally, our first ability is um, we can go up, and then, well, if we don't go too crazy now, we can hold it to slam down. So if you just do it to jump up, you can hold it going down and slam down with the ground and do a little bit of damage. But none of that stuff is really too good at damage, as you can see. Nothing really uh, affected them too much there. So, um, Turbulence, we're going to have to actually have the enemies on to see what happens with that. But, um... Your first ability is really awesome because you can get around the map fast as hell. Look at this. And you can pretty much fly, like for a little bit. So, um, if you have a lot of energy, you can just keep going. Let's go ahead and jump into the build, though. So, this build is not based on power strength or range because none of that really matters. Um,. What matters is your duration and your efficiency. Strength, if you're wanting a tornado build where you're like, oh, my tornadoes to just destroy everything, it's really not going to happen. Unless they buff the tornadoes or do something with damage that makes it better, it's just not going to happen. Uh, the range doesn't matter. The tornadoes go as far as they want. Um, and uh, as you can see, our launching doesn't affect anything. And nothing really to worry about there. You just want duration. And then strength is... Uh, just normal nothing too crazy but as you can see we got duration 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 uh, energy max health efficiency efficiency um, ability duration hunters adrenaline to basically convert 45% of the damage on health to energy so we can have a little more um, uptime on turbulence and we'll see what's up with turbul turbulence in a minute um, this is just to uh, give us a little bit more ability range because it's so low and then physique maximize your health um, now if there is any other auras you want in particular you can run those I just run this one because well I just like the extra health and then um, but yeah so let's go ahead and jump into it um, so we're gonna show out turbulence now so check this out so we're gonna unpause these fools we're gonna turn on turbulence I'm gonna show you guys what's up here so Turbulence is really OP because it is a windshield and they literally cannot penetrate it for the 44 seconds that you see down there. So I'm literally immune to damage. They can melee me, but that's it. So it's really... the Turbulence isn't good against the infested, but it's really solid against the... Um, uh, anyone with guns. Of course, it's near any of that stuff. And um, explosive weapons are really good with the tornadoes and also if you shoot the tornadoes it will change whatever element you're using so like now it's corrosive damage um but the cool thing is is the uh, explosive um cuba brahma is great with your ultimate because pretty much if they get picked up in the cc you can just shoot them freely and also uh our ultimate is a great cc and it's going to be last in another 12 seconds so that's really cool now you can also hold it to get bigger tornadoes so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, Zephyr is still really, really good. I think one of the best frames. Definitely another underrated frame that no one really uh, plays as much. But look at this. Like, this is literally better than Rhino Skin. Like, Rhino Skin would break eventually. Oh, and also, if you get everyone in a tornado like that, you can just nuke them all. I don't know. I'm sure just dead. But, um make sure he's dead you know um but yeah so with turbulence though this could potentially be better than rhino's uh iron skin just for the simple fact that um i mean you can just absorb bullets like nothing 
Now, I know if there was anyone that's trying to melee you or whatever, but anyone that's meleeing, you can just run out of range, you know what I mean? Like, you're never just going to be stopped. I mean, in Warframe, you're pretty much running around being mobile as all get out all the time. And also, if anyone is getting close to touching you, you know, just take off. Take off like a bird that you need, and then slam back down on them, you know? And if they're getting close, you can knock them down with your second ability. And then, um, yeah. But Zephyr, I've actually used in the Index with this build and was totally fine. I was able to hold like a, a million points basically just because of the uh, turbulence block on all the bullets. Now if you don't have any energy to actually cast turbulence, that's kind of a bummer. But um, you can always do your you know, energizing dash. So um, there you go. But uh, Zephyr, great CC, brings a ton of uh, CC to the team with her second and fourth ability. And then, um, she can just survive all day and never need a revive with her turbulence, which lasts for 52 seconds. Which with a uh, prime cost new, you can get even higher than that. But, uh, but alright guys, this is Zephyr Prime, another underrated frame, and I think that people should definitely check her out and play her. She's pretty freaking legit. But until next time, guys, peace.